Shall we talk about self-esteem? Because wherever your self-esteem is, is kind of like the theme of your stories. I had a, a meeting with a, a lady that is and will probably always be behind the eight ball. She can't do anything right. And and that's just that's just her story. She's been struggling for almost 50 years. And I know and I can predict that if she doesn't change, and she probably won't, that she will be this until the day she passes. I don't care what your background is. I care about what your mindset is today and how you're writing your stories, whether it has success at the end or failure at the end. It's all about you. And I'm sure you've seen a few movies where you love the outcome. And I want your stories like a movie where you win at the end. I was working with a lady. She's been struggling for a while financially, a few other little areas. I started rapidly throwing questions at her about money. And I just kept going and going and going, ask, yes, no, up, down. And I finally asked her, what would be the worst thing that would happen if you got money? And she just blurted out, I would spoil myself. And we both leaned back. And I'm like, there it is. There it is. She cried. And then she laughed. And then she realized that she was not having financial problems because of, because of anybody else other than herself. And I predict that she's just going to skyrocket now. So what I do is I help recode what your past has coded that isn't working for you. We live in programs. We live in automatics. I was at a goddess festival last weekend and one gentleman selling products, great products. I said, oh, I have like four of these. He's like, oh, did you buy them from me? And I'm like, I don't know unless you have a Etsy. And he's like, oh yeah, no, it's, it's too hard to do. Haven't figured it out yet. All my pieces are original. I'd have to take pictures of everything. Keep it. And he had all of these heavy excuses, stories on why he couldn't sell on Etsy and promote his business. Well, I'm an ex-photographer. And I said, well, actually, all of these items here, probably about 100 I said, you could, once you set it up, you could run through all these products and take pictures in probably 20 minutes. And then he had another story of why I was wrong. And he's like, oh yeah, and you know, and it's just money and people are greedy. And I'm like, free, stop. You're here at a festival selling. It's okay to make money. We are all here to make money. Don't be ashamed of that. He looked a little shocked. I, of course, smiled and walked away. But here he is. He's, he's paying money. He's traveled. And he's complaining about doing something that would actually bring money in. If you want more money. If you want better health, you got to write better stories. And, you, and I want to go in and find that code, that recipe, the data that tells you you're not good enough, that you're not worthy, because that is a lie. You 100% are. And until you believe it, my words will fall flat. 
So let's go in and heal those areas that hold you back from success so that you can bring in success. And like a movie, have a happy ending. <sighs> I just love all this stuff, people. Been doing it for over 30 years and I want you to shine in life. And yeah, we're going to look at some areas and it may be uncomfortable. There are some people that are just mean to others. Some people are too entitled. One client said, well, I just want people to like me, which means she is not likable. One person is so loud, arrogant, bullyish, that of course people are not going to soften and bring her in to safetyness. It's like asking the um, the fox to come into the hen house. I want you to protect yourself from those people, of course. And if you're like those people, then you've got to change. It's not about anybody and everybody else. It really is about how you show up. And my client that finally got that she could make a whole hell of a lot of money once she realized that it's okay to spoil her self. It's okay to receive and, and, and all that juicy stuff. So if you want to better your life, it is you upgrading yourself. You're the main character. Never forget that, please. I'm Diane at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. Been doing this for over 30 years. Damn good at what I do. And I want to take your dull energy, brighten it up a little bit, and make success common sense to you. Thank you.